everyone welcome back to shri fc i hope you all are well and you are good please people do hit the like button please subscribe if you haven't and please support the channel and i hope you all are well and good and today i'm going to discuss on mbappe news that just came out i'm going to uh, discuss on manchester united the sheik jasim bed the rat cliff and all the drama that's going on for manchester united i'm going to discuss on tottenham and i'm also going to discuss on my club chelsea so do put your opinion in the comment section on what do you think is going to happen and uh, your reaction regarding the news so the first news today i'm going to discuss is regarding manchester united and the drama going on there first i want to discuss on sheik jasim bid and why united fans should be all over this bid is just not to do with the qatari and the money they can bring see they have already promised to invest in united's infrastructure the stadium the development that is one thing glazers have been one of the most embarrassing owners you can see they still not developed the training ground the old trap for one of the most iconic stadium is still not been properly developed some of the facilities are not really good and it's such an iconic stadium manchester united is such an iconic club and the way they have been run by glazers even as a neutral is embarrassing to see the way they have run manchester united down to the ground is an absolute embarrassment you go people criticizes fsg the liverpool ownership and arsenal but they have not destroyed the iconic stadiums they at least had proper basic facilities they are still developing the club but what glazers have done is been embarrassing sheik jasim bed really promises a lot of funds and also they try to develop the basic infrastructures training grounds and i think they are trying to acquire the 100% of the club which will fully get the glazers away now problem with ratcliffe is a first problem is with ratcliffe has you can see in the rumor that's coming out that's by united stand is they will take loans to buy manchester united that is already a massive problem on top of the debts manchester united have got you have got sheik jasim who will clear the debts and help the club in the future while you have got uh, the new owner uh, new probable owners in ratcliffe who also has a chance to own the club who will already try to use loans to buy the club that is really bad news if you are trying to get ratcliffe to the club and that's the owner you want that is a very very bad news along with that we all know manchester united and glazers they when they put united on the stock exchange they bought class b shares now what class b shares do is they they are only given to the family members of the glazers and what they do is they give you 10 into more voting right than the others and what glazers are trying to do is by ratcliffe's bid they can still stay in the club if ratcliffe give them even 20% stake in the club still so they can still have a lot more voting rights and many other people in the club and that is one thing united fans really need to be careful and really need to understand why sheik jasim bid is really the best for them because that bid is going to outnumber glazers and going to get them out of the club while ratcliffe will keep them in the club and also use loans and debt to buy the club that is not a good news and also the uh, we saw some rumors coming that the bid is done sheik jasim is a new owner of manchester united now that's not been confirmed by any reliable source so i'm not going to comment on that but at the moment with loans required for ratcliffe to buy the club i think sheik jasim is in a pole position to buy the club and that is good news for manchester united fans coming to the second news now declan rice to arsenal very close to happen now bayern munich have moved out of the race thomas tuchel even since his chelsea days has wanted declan rice we all know that but now with declan rice heart is set to stay in uh, england and london he is very close to go to arsenal already personal terms have been agreed is not going to be a problem it's about just matching with west ham and arsenal will be offering around 80 to 100 million in between with incentives to try to convince west ham and i think this is going to be the first top business arsenal are going to do they don't even have competitors united still have no new owners announced you got chelsea all in kaisedo and rice will most probably prefer arsenal over chelsea and then you have got manchester city will they need rice they might need rice but for that they will need to get rid of calvin phillips so arsenal are for me in a pole position and they don't need to wait you never know any club might come in straight up a bid united ownership might be announced and they make 100 million an offer for rice so arsenal need to be quick and they're looking very close to sign rice rice is a top top player a very good premier league proven player and so young Thomas Partey for me is very disrespected and really last season played out of his skin for most of the campaign but again the way he fell off in the last some weeks was very bad that was a very bad fell off and had a massive hand in Arsenal not winning the league because as much as Jorginho scored that goal against Villa played well Jorginho is not at the level of what he required that Partey brings that Rice brings that plays like Caicedo brings 
and this is why Arsenal need a Manmo midfielder and Rice is a young midfielder. He can play even a centre-back when required if there's are injuries. He can play in the midfield, he can play the Xhaka role, he can even play the Pate role and he's so good with the ball and he's such a top player, very experienced and Arsenal are making a very good signing. They had a very good last season and now they need to build upon that and Declan Rice is going to do the same for Arsenal. So they're closing in and I think Arsenal are getting a very top-class player. Angolo Kante has for the news you can see is confirmed. He will be leaving the club. He won't extend a contract with the club. And Angolo Kante is a true legend of this club. I'll always love Angolo. Thank you so much, Angolo. Thank you so much. He is one of the best, most professional player I always remember. And he will always go down as a Chelsea legend for what he provided and did for the club. When he came, he was signed. We pipped Arsenal and it was a very low price for a player of his quality. He came, he won us the league. And him and Matic, sometime him and Fabricas, we won the league. Next season, he scored against his old team Leicester as well. That goal against Manchester United, against Jose Mourinho led Manchester United. Then in the Sari season, he was injured and he still played the final. We won the final. We beat Arsenal 4-1 and N'Golo Kante was fantastic again. Then after that, again, Champions League final. We needed N'Golo Kante, Champions League semi-final, quarter-finals. And he put on an exhibition of midfield display. I'll always love Jorginho as well. But Jorginho will never have played the way he did if N'Golo Kante was not at his best. We will never ever have beaten Manchester in the final if we did not have N'Golo Kante. He covered, he won all the tackles, interceptions and it was like we had two, three midfielders on the pitch. Whenever N'Golo Kante was at his best, it looked like we have two or three midfielders on the pitch. He used to cover so much ground, winning tackles, interceptions and mistakenly called DM when he had so much more to his game and N'Golo Kante I'll always love you. Thank you. And he will go as a Chelsea legend. He hopefully is a great time. Thank you, N'Golo. And will always love you. Now I go to David Raya before I end with the Chelsea news. And David Raya is a keeper even we are linked with. But our main priorities are Onana and my name who are going to cost a lot of money. Now, problem with David Raya is that he has agreed personal terms with Tottenham. And Tottenham are in the pole position. But even Manchester United, Qatari ownership won David Raya. So at the moment, if that is solved quickly, don't rule Manchester United out for going for David Raya. But at the moment, Spurs are in the pole position. But now the problem with Spurs is that Brentford won 40 million. And that is where the price problem is coming. So let's see what happens in that regards. Tottenham are still behind in Madison race against Newcastle and losing out on David Raya will really send a bad impression to the fans and Tottenham need to get back to the right level. Hugo Lloris is already leaving the club and you need a good goalkeeper next season and David Raya is a Premier League proven keeper. He is very good with his feet. He is still a good shot stopper. He has to improve but he is still a good shot stopper and a much better keeper currently than Hugo Lloris. So I think if Tottenham can negotiate for 30 to 5 million for a good player in David Raya who is going to be the future for them, I think they should go for this deal. He is a very good keeper and I will also say one thing, if Onana is going to cost 70-80 million and we cannot pay that, then even I will go for Raya. He is a very good goalkeeper and for 30 million is not the worst deal in the world and Tottenham should be going for a good goalkeeper and Raya is still, for me, top 5, top 6 goalkeeper in the league and can do a very, very good job for Tottenham Hotspur and if Manchester United can hijack it, let's see. And that brings me on the Chelsea news and the saga that's going on for Inter Milan and the saga that's going on right now with Chelsea and the player exchanging swaps and everything. So news is coming out that Romelu Lukaku at the moment might not want to go to Al Etihad. He wants to still play in the top level. If I pronounce wrong, I apologize. And if I've named the club wrong, I apologize. But overall, Saudi clubs are coming for Lukaku. But Lukaku still wants to play in European competitions. And Inter Milan will not pay a big transfer fee. So only chance is Lukaku to go on the loan. But that is again a problem for us. So at the moment, Lukaku deal is up in the air. Inter might not want to pay the transfer fee. Lukaku still prefers to stay in the European clubs. He still prioritizes to stay at Inter. But they cannot pay a big transfer fee. So that is a massive problem. We also know Chelsea are massively interested in signing an Inter Milan play for Onana but Inter Milan want at, at least 60 million for him so that is another massive problem for Chelsea and then you have got Inter Milan being interested in Kalidu Koulibaly on a loan deal whereas we signed Kalidu Koulibaly for 33 million so again does it suit us so I think Inter Milan and Inter Milan are also interested in Trevor Chuloba as well for me which will be a wrong deal for Chelsea to send such a good young player who has always been consistent to Inter Milan so I think Inter Milan and Chelsea are going to sit on the table they're going to discuss Chaloba, Koulibaly that Inter Milan are interested in 
and Chelsea will discuss on Lukaku, do Inter want him, how much money they are going to pay or do Chelsea have to look options elsewhere to sell Lukaku or even keep Lukaku and they are also going to discuss on Onana and the deals that are going to happen so this is what's going on Chelsea and the final news Kylian Mbappe now Kylian Mbappe looks most probably to go to Real Madrid because United ownership is not solved I don't think he'll go to Arsenal or Arsenal will pay such big money he won't go to Manchester City, Liverpool they really get these big signings especially with the midfield they require and Chelsea have already come out and said they won't pay any crazy money and Chelsea won't do any crazy thing in the transfer market they will they have still a lot of priorities to solve so Chelsea are out of the Mbappe race as well if anyone was dreaming that Todd Bully will try to do this so that's turn and these are the transfer news roundup the transfer news roundup I will love to have Mbappe I have no problem with Mbappe's attitude I think that could be solved but being very honest right now Chelsea have so many problems that I think Mbappe will not suit us and he will he will he will won't, won't come to Chelsea we don't have Champions League football we have so much to do and Real Madrid and Mbappe look the match meal in heaven so that's really going to happen that's a proper match and along with that I think United should be going with Sheikh Jassim bid he is close to get to the club and then you've got Declan Rice going to Arsenal and David Raya closing his Spurs please do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't thank you